hamstrings, quads, starring Christina and Nate. Sorry, it's just hamstrings and glutes. Hamstrings and glutes. What did you say? Quads. Oh. Listen, hamstrings and glutes and calves. We're gonna train calves today too. We're gonna do some big heavy press movements. We're in the belt squat. Just probably gonna make the ligaments scream. Make the muscles queasy. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to throw up. I recently discovered that I'm a proud father, a father of octuplates. Get it? Does everyone get it? Does everybody get it? <laughs>
hamstrings go crazy every week. This is a nice machine. Matrix hip thrust machine. It's a nice one. And it's like pretty new. Shout out Matrix. Uh, I wouldn't shout out Matrix all the time. <laughs> but with this one, it's nice. I'll usually use barbell pad on Smith machine for hip thrust. Or just regular barbell on the rack. But uh, yeah, I'm liking this a lot. It really isolates the glutes properly, so it's nice. Now right, let's do one more. Three hard working sets. You don't have to go too heavy, honestly. If you can get eight heavy ones to failure, perfect. I don't go too. I don't go. I don't do too many reps on these. I'll usually keep it at like eight to ten. Sometimes I'll like do some glute bridges at the end, just to kind of increase that intensity. Nate Boudreaux skipped the, uh, the hip thrust today, but we're going to be doing large DLs. Large DLs for the big boy. Large DLs. Large DLs. I need a cigarette. <laughs> Ich bin ein Technokind, die Nacht gehört uns. Wir feiern bis zum Morgengrauen, die Nacht gehört uns. I gotta do weird plate math, because I live with my girlfriend. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> What'd you say? But I gotta do weird plate math, because I live with my girlfriend. <laughs> I live with a body half my size. <laughs> <laughs> and typically the lifts equate to about half, so yeah, uh, it's not really looking that way anymore. <laughs> on some, some motions. On back mostly is when I can like get to half. Keep up because I do have a strong back. How about broad back, babe? A broad back bitch. <laughs> I do have wings. Wings. Perseverecoaching.ca. Perseverecoaching.ca. <laughs> get wings today. <laughs> It's only looking at your tummy. What? <laughs> so it's only looking at your tummy. I'm moving. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Muscles all around, like symmetry. Well-rounded quality. I have a well-rounded symmetrical quality muscle. Glutes. Well-rounded symmetrical glutes. Alright, let's
Ich bin ein Technokind, die Nacht gehört uns. Wir feiern bis zum Morgengrauen, die Nacht gehört uns. Es juckt mich nicht, was morgen ist, die Nacht gehört uns. Die Gänge im Start, wir geben Gas, die Nacht gehört uns. Ich bin ein Technokind. Ich bin ein Technokind I always feel the most ridiculous shuffling from, from one side to the other on this. I'm sure every bikini competitor that stepped on stage before can agree that their judges' feedback was either more upper glute or more lower glute. Probably more upper glute. Um, so it's always good as like a first-time competitor just try and jump the gun on that. Um, glute max kickbacks are always a really, really good upper glute movement as well as hip thrusts. Um, lower glutes would be like RDLs, squats. So if your plan is to compete in the future, get started by doing all well-rounded glute exercises um, at least two times a week. I find a lot of bikini competitors will do three times a week. I know wellness competitors do for sure. I'm at two times a week right now, but I was doing three times, um, just glutes and hamstrings, but now my judges' feedback was quads. So I'm trying to focus on quads really going deep, which is in other videos, but um, we all need more upper and lower glutes, so let's get after it. of my glute max kickbacks um, my whole body is not moving my chest is up and the only thing that is moving I'm swinging my leg forward with all of my control and bringing it back and flexing my glutes digging my heel into the ground that is how you're gonna feel it the most um, you'll start to feel it in both of your glutes at the same time which usually takes like your second set your second leg and it sucks but it's like the best thing you can be doing for your upper glute as well as hip thrusts, glute bridges. So just make sure that you're doing the right form, as I said. But chest up, um, make sure that you're looking forward. Your leg is going forward first, then kicking out. <laughs> um, and that is where you'll really see the lengthening of the fibers in your glutes. So that is super important, the part of bringing your leg out first, then all the way back. I want more, but I know I shouldn't.